What's up, Loop Troop? Loopy Fist here. And today we're actually just going to be doing a bit of a uh, reaction video. Uh, this is me uh, reacting to the new season of Marvel Snap, the uh, Planet Hulk. This actually looks like a really cool season, and I'm pretty excited because the last season, as much as it seemed like it was going to have a lot of cool cards, I actually didn't really enjoy this season that much. I, Havoc was probably my favorite card because I like to build some crazy things. And this new season seems like it's gonna have some cars that are actually gonna have some different paths and stuff. So I'm really excited. So here's the reaction. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, you know, leave a like, leave us a subscription if you're not subscribed and uh, watch some of my deck videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. All right, let's see what this is about. Okay. Okay. Lots of stuff going on. I got you. It's pretty cool so far. Oh my God. What up everybody, it's Ben Bro from Second Eater here to show you how to become the best gladiator in the Grand Arena. For this next season of Marvel Snap, Planet Hulk. <laughs> this season's main card is Scar. The son of Hulk, Scar is super strong like his pop. It associates with only the strongest on planet Sakaar. So in Marvel Snap, when you pair Scar with cards that have 10 or more power, he costs two less for each of them. Scar works huh. great with She-Hulk, Typhoid Mary, Sentry, and even Warpath. This next season is cool with Warpath too. Beta Ray Bill. He stole Mjolnir from Thor and eventually earned his own hammer, Stormbreaker. In Marvel Snap, when you play Beta Ray Bill, he shuffles Stormbreaker into your deck. When you play Stormbreaker, it doubles Beta Ray Bill's power. Oh my God. Despite being Thor's <laughs> rival, he also benefits greatly from Jane Foster, Odin, and Lockjaw. Next, we have Kyera, Scar's mom, who's known for protecting both gladiators and common folk with the old power. In Marvel Snap, Kyera's ability keeps your one and six cost cards from being destroyed. Kyra is great with Kazar decks to keep Killmonger at bay. No, he but said, he um, he didn't say Son of Hulk. He said, um, as where as, wait. Wait, Scar is Scar is um is uh the son of Hulk, but um Beta Ray Bill is his rival. Armor and decks that depend on the strength of six cost cards. <laughs> Thanks, Kyra. Hmm. Ha! Eye shields. Our next fighter is the demigod Hercules. Kyra Scar Lockjaw is gonna be crazy. It really is. Him. Throw his weight around. In Marvel Snap, when a card moves to him, he'll hurl it to another location. Damn. Double up on your move. I can't Cards wait like for Hercules, man. Your dagger can be devastating combos. That's gonna be pretty Sorry. cool. Be all those bugs I got. This next fighter is not just another bug. It's Meek. Meek is a hop happy insect known for wielding no less than four swords. In Marvel Snap, he gets stronger and moves every time you discard a card. Pair Meek up with Hellcow, Modoc, Swarm, or Apocalypse to power up. And so this, so look, this is something I'm actually interested in because ever since I started doing um like videos every single day, I've noticed just how like it's it's crazy how how much synergy that there is, but how also how little. So like stuff like this. It may seem like this is not going to be that great, but this opens up the line for a discard move deck, which is something that we just like, you know, we we don't really like have, you know? So that actually this actually excites me. Um and it also makes it to where I can probably make way more decks. But like I already have like five different deck ideas that I can like do with this, you know, which is kind of cool. 
And finally, the big boss himself, Grandmaster. He controls the Grand Arena and Sakaar <laughs> by placing fighters front and center. So in Marvel Snap, Grandmaster moves an on-reveal card to the center location to replay their ability. Grandmaster adds a big boost to Black Panther, Silver Surfer, and Absorbing Man. And how much power is he? Wait a minute, let me go back. Silver Surfer and a card to the center location to he replay is. Their He's a two cost car. Adds a big boost to Black Panther, Silver Surfer, and Absorbing Man. That's gonna be pretty cool too, man. A variant. Just like this is gonna be really cool. For Hulk, Silver Surfer, and awesome. Star. In order to be the best of the best, you have to be prepared to fight in any terrain. During the Planet Hulk season, you can watch me snap off in these new instructional VHS cassettes from Crown City and the Great Fort. Awesome. From all of us here at Second Dinner, thanks for playing, and we look forward to seeing you in the Grand Arena. Okay, bud. Show me what you got. No, he bought the season pass. Ugh. Oh my god. You can be this powerful too. <laughs> Get ready for Man, I tell you what, dude. I actually don't mind. I, I feel like Kara's gonna be super powerful, but I'm not even upset because I don't foresee anything changing with Loki anytime soon. And Blob is kind of crazy too. I, I mean, if things keep going the way they are, if everything is super broken, then nothing is broken, right? And maybe things will level itself out. But we'll have to see. <laughs> we'll have to we'll have to find out because we're gonna we're gonna see. Um I cause the way that things are going, they haven't been nerfing as much as I would like to. You know, if they keep doing, if they keep going where they are, then yeah, it'll be, it'll be nice. But yeah, it looks good to me though. I'm, I'm super excited for like, like Hercules. The fact is that, you know, the first time another car moves here each turn, move it to another location. That's going to be crazy. If you put him, if you put him down on where Craven is at, and Craven just keeps like the cars come to Craven and then you knock them away. And then they come to Craven again somehow and you knock them away. That's gonna be crazy. You know? Um, or even uh putting him. Oh, if you pair him with Kingpin, oh my god. Kingpin on turn six and Hercules. If you do juggernaut and the cars move to Hercules. He'll knock them back somewhere else and hopefully they'll go go somewhere else. It's gonna be pretty cool, man. I'm I'm happy that these cars are actually adding a little bit more flair to things. Like this last season, I just wasn't that excited. Like Havoc came out and that was kind of it. You know, everything else is as cool as it was in game breaking as Blob is, he's still very simple. Have a lot of cards in your deck, he eats them. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What if you had two Hercules somehow? Oh my god. Oh, it's it's the first time. It's the it's the first time. Yo, Slither Snake, welcome to the Loop Troop. It's the first time that this happens. So I don't know if it's gonna be the um. It's probably not gonna happen. Like, doom, doom, doom. It only happens once, you know. Only happens once. Um, let's see who else is in here. Scar, I think is gonna be pretty interesting. Believe it or not. Um, let's find him real quick. Where you at, Scar? Scar is going to be pretty interesting because I, I didn't even think about that with, um, with Warpath. Warpath is going to be pretty cool, um, to, you know, to get a cheaper scar and you could even lay scar down, you know, to do that. But also, man, that's going to be pretty, it's going to be pretty awesome. Um, I like I like that idea. And I did, I did go and buy martyr yesterday just because of the whole synergy that you'll probably have with Kyra. So yeah, I, I do think Kara is gonna be kind of crazy. Um but um yeah, this is man, your one and your six cost cars can't be destroyed. So what she basically is doing is giving them a whole different property. You know, that's kind of crazy to me. You have to go through her before you can go through them. 
she's going to help out Zoo, but also think about this. Um, Blob. Blob is going to be scary because you won't be able to destroy Blob unless you do something with her. So you know who's going to have really good stonks this next season? Can anybody tell me who's going to have really good stonks this next season? Somebody has to know. And I'm not, and I'm not, not just rogue, not just rogue. She not, she not's going to be crazy. Shadow King. Exactly. Shadow King's going to go crazy because, because you're not going to be able to kill them, but you could just knock their power down if you can. You don't know what stonks are, man. It's like stocks going, you know, come on, man. Stonks. It's a meme, 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 meme lingo. Anyways. Yeah. Rogue too, though. Cause if you rogue her, then you have her ability, and then your one and sixes can't be destroyed. So, yeah. Enchantress might be, but I'm not sure if it'll be worth. Because you're going to have to Enchantress it, and people are probably going to be doing it on turn what? Like, people will probably lay Kaera down on, like, turn... She she may be a turn three card. And then you might drop her right, right behind Cosmo. Who knows? Echo is going to be crazy. With Echo going to a series four, going to be pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Now, Beta Ray Bill, to me, just seems like better, better um, Hulk. But I'm definitely going to, I'm definitely going to make a deck that has Beta Ray Bill and Hulk in it. Like, that's just going to be too cool. If you can get both hammers and drop them both down and then Odin, that's going to be a lot. That's a lot going on. And you can still use Jane Foster. And because he's a four cost, you can definitely go for the line of um, Hulk. You could go for, you can maybe go for a Wong, um, but also go for Hulk into Beta Ray Bill, into Jane Foster, and then into Odin on top. Oh my God, it's going to be crazy. Oh man. You can you can definitely do you you can go for the full full um Asgardian like powerhouse turn. It's gonna be kind of crazy. I keep saying Hulk, I meant to say Thor. Oh shit. You know what I mean. Yeah, Thor with Thor. You can you can you can definitely go for the Thor. They got they got four letters in their name, man. Come on, chill out. I'm sorry, yeah. But yeah, it's gonna be um it's gonna be Thor into Beta Ray Bill into uh Gene Foster. I mean, Jane Foster and then Gene Foster. And it's going to be crazy, man. And then you drop both the hammers down in Odin. That's going to be a 20 power beta ray bill. If he ain't, if he ain't got no buff in any other way. And then it's going to be, um, a, what a 16 power Thor. I think it's going to be kind of crazy. Pork. <laughs> you guys leave me alone. <laughs> All right, that's good. Um, I think I think that's good. We talked about everything. Uh, well, no, Grandmaster too. Grandmaster could be could be kind of broken too, especially if you make a deck that only has. Cause I mean, look, it says moves one of your other, which we know if it says move one of your other, then that means it's random, right? Well, what if you can make it not random? There you go. I like I like these changes. I like these cards. I'm I think it'll be pretty cool. I'm excited. Um, the locations. What were they again? Crown City. Whoever is winning here gets plus four power at adjacent locations. So they turned Omega Red into a location. <laughs> kind of. They kind of turned Omega Red into a location. Okay. Um, the Great Portal. Add a random card with ten or more power to your hand. Um. When they say random card, I'm guessing does that include like demon two? Is the demon demon's a ten power card, isn't it? Yeah, demon's ten power. It's a uh, yeah nine ten it's six ten six ten. I don't know. It's weird. It is weird. By only having one on reveal, you know what will move exactly. Yeah, you wave turn five, then you can alive and grandmaster maybe. Getting a life again, yeah, and you and you might, yo. Imagine this: what if it, if it, if you have a card already that's there, um, and and it can't move to the middle. What if it grabs another card? You could literally go and do something as simple as, uh, Odin it, and then pull another. 
It pull it, you lay on un, un, reveal down, it goes off, and then you lay Grand Master, and it pulls that card to the middle, and then you have that card there, but you have another card that you actually wanted to pull. You drop Odin down, pulls that card over instead. It's gonna be kind of crazy. I, I I'm excited for that. I I think this is gonna be a good season. I I don't think this season is gonna be as lackluster as this one. Meeks Meeks okay. I don't think he's gonna be groundbreaking, but it it could be cool. You know, it's gonna be cool. Especially if you're playing a deck. I want to make a deck with Meek and with uh Craven. And um, do you guys remember the deck that I made that was like hyper discard? Um, it was like the, the my devil dino discard. Can you imagine if I put Craven into that? I put Collector, I put uh Modoc, and then we drop like you just discard a bunch of swarms. Can you imagine? And Meek's just flying around and getting the points. It's, it's gonna be crazy. It's going to be pretty cool. Anyways, we got we got some ideas, and I can't wait to implement them. So there you go. Hey, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to click on my face right here to subscribe to the channel. Or you can also check out this video right here. You guys have a great day. Bye.